What's up, everybody? Crypto Marxist, aka Bone Army, coming at you once again with another Shibarium update. So I'm sticking with this Paul Zone slash Paul Token um, content because this is one of the um, vanguards of the Shibarium ecosystem coming forward. So there's a lot of FUD happening and it it keeps bubbling up so we're gonna have to address it and um i hope you guys don't hear the laundry going off in the back but it is what it is for now so um first things first the majority of the fud is coming from one particular community okay so when you go on twitter and you see these people talking about oh another paw token uh what a scam there's already a paw token Come check this out. I mean, it, the, I mean, their objectives and their goals are very transparent, okay? So for those of you that don't know, uh, there was a split, essentially, and there's a group of fudders that are linked to PawSwap. So nothing against the holders of PawSwap. If you have PawSwap and you got gains, congratulations. Unfortunately, the leadership of PawSwap is uh scammy they're dishonest and they're fud stricken okay so let's go ahead and see what jd has to say and what i wanted to do was i wanted to check out some of what he had said before and then update you to the present so jd updates in light of recent fud i felt some things needed to be mentioned. Shibarium is the real deal. We have Shiba Eternity, Shiba Swap 2.0, and many community projects building for it. It's unfortunate it came to this, but the Shiba Army will rise above stronger than ever before. That is true. Later on, a more detailed explanation, and this is the root cause of the FUD. Okay, and it has to do with this Discord click that's trying to maintain power and have privileges. And if you guys are part of the Sheep Army, you ride with Bone Army, you are part of the Bone Army, you understand this project is a decentralized dream. Okay, that's the dream. The one cent dream is one thing but a decentralized haven for people to be able to trade and create build projects for the future to better things to democratize things that's what the goal of ryoshi is that is the vision all right so jd updates let's just clarify something once and for all one paw is sheep army Paw Zone. The other is Shadow Cats. Paw Swap. I like to call them Paw Swamp. Okay? So nothing against you holders. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about those swampy characters. Okay? So one paw copies the token symbol design and dumps bone to artificially pump their token. Paw Swamp. I'm sorry. I can't stop myself. The other builds for the good of Sheeb, Paul Zone. One wants to better the ecosystem, Paul Zone. The other wants to dismantle it, Paul Swamp. One cares for the community, Paul Zone. The other cares for their wallets, Paul Swamp. One divides and manipulates, Paul Swamp. The other promotes unity, Paul Zone. It's as simple as that. This post will have FUD in the comments, but listen to what your heart tells you, not them. I hope you chose the right side of history. And it's still early, not financial advice, but it is what it is, okay? And um, in light of more FUD, JD had to hit him again. So keep in mind, this is three, this is four waves of FUD that, we, that we've had to deal with. Literally, this is part of the reason why I had to make my channel because I feel like nobody out there is taking it to them. Like they're like, oh, we're about unity. We're no, you know what? Paul Swamp. 
okay, is trying to destroy the Shibarium, the Bone, and the Shiba Inu ecosystem. Those projects, okay? They're bitter, so they, they're waging all-out war. All right? We see what they're doing. And someone, okay, Shaitoshi, I get it. Take the high road. All right? But you know what? The Bone Army, more radical than the Shiba Army. We're going to call out these busters. All right? So here we go. Because they butted from the Discord. All right? I'm trying to smear Shaitoshi. Right? You see them trying to uh, report his account. All right, uh, on Twitter to the point that the, he it was down for a little bit. They had to take off the check. Now it's back. All right. So basically, five waves: the Discord wave, the Twitter fud against Shaitoshi, all right, the fud against Shibarium, the fud against Bone, and now the fud against Paul Zone. Okay. So here it goes. In light of fud which you know, for those of you that don't know, I'm sure most of you do, is fear, uncertainty, and doubt. In light of FUD, I was recently made aware of I felt the need to clear the air. In regards to the fair launch, I migrated the tokens around before launch to confuse bots and placed the allocations in smart contracts. With the remaining 50%, I placed into initial liquidity. It took me a little bit to lock the liquidity, but I announced immediately right after. There were no inside insider trades. I didn't even tell my own admin that have stuck by my side through the years to be as fair as possible. I have been in this community longer than most and have been supporting it ever since. I didn't work this hard on hashtag pause zone to just make a quick profit off of a token. Funny enough, I haven't sold a single paw. In fact, I've only bought more after launch. Moreover, 100% of the liquidity is locked. 20% for six months and 80% for two years. I'm sorry I didn't respond to this earlier. I've been busier than I have ever been in my life trying to make sure every hashtag paw fighter will be happier than they could have ever imagined. And you know what? For that, I want to thank Ryoshi, Shaitoshi, and JD. Okay? It goes without. And happy belated birthday, my boy. <laughs> All right. All right. So that's that. All right. And now, oh, hold on. This is this is the the the, the next one. That's the next one, bro. That's the now I'm telling you, I'm hitting you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you guys. All right. So this one is actually the chart. So all I did was extend extend the channels that were initially put there, all right? Because keep in mind, this is an early project, so the channels aren't really established. But we did establish a couple of trends, a couple of trend lines, okay? And here we are. This, this is essentially what, what I'm looking at right here, what I'm looking at right here. Oh shit, why is this so low? Hold up. Uh, let's go. Hold up. Let's go to the four hour. Let's go to the two hour, actually. Why is this so far over here? I'm old. I gotta, I gotta move in all oh, extra close. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. That looks like a trend. All right. Now let's go back to the 15th. This side, all right, okay. So you guys basically can see the channel. The initial channels are there. Of course, it's going to be sell off. It's going to be con this right here looks like a reversal again. Okay, so I'm expecting this to maybe go up and then maybe come back down a little bit <clears throat> and then <clears throat> keep this trend going up. All right. So essentially, you have an opportunity to get in and not financial advice, but into a project that is, in my opinion, a future billion dollar project. Think about how big the Sheeb metaverse ecosystem. You know, when I say ecosystem, 
I want you guys to think the sheep economy, okay? <clears throat> what we're talking about here is we're talking about sheep. I want you to start thinking of the sheep metaverse like a country, okay? Like Or a state. How about that? Like a state or no, it may be a country because, I see, I don't know how deep, how big each plot can get, you know? But think about that. There's going to be people in, coming in, essentially purchasing mall spaces, right? Gucci's going to be there. Prada's going to be there. You know, there's going to be a maybe a, a Gap, a Target, all kinds of stuff. Like, we don't know what's going to happen. Like, okay, there's going to be uh, theme parks. We know Atari has been purchasing plots in different metaverses. It's only a matter of time. We know... Uh, the hotel Eris, uh Paris was uh purchasing stuff in, in, in sheep. So I'm just saying that we're very early, okay. So right now it's looking like it's at f maybe fifth. What, what what's the market cap? 15 mark 15 million. It's 18 million market cap right now. 18 million market cap. Okay, think about it. Think about if you were lucky enough to get into a billion dollar project at 18 million dollars. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna leave you with that. I, I definitely wanted to give you guys an update, I wanted to show you the charts. You know, I'm gonna maintain the charts there because it, it's, it's really important for you guys to see when a good project <clears throat> uh, has volume. Okay, we're talking, we're talking, what, what, what were we at? What were we at? Make this a little bigger right here. We're talking at still 8 million, close to $9 million in volume. Okay, and and don't forget, a lot of people are just, okay, they, they got in really early. Okay, so they, they're, which is okay. Let them get their, their profits in. But if you really want to, really want to get your bags how you should i'm telling you do not miss that opportunity where where is this at now hold up snap hold up because i just want to show you something because see like especially right now, let's go to the one minute chart just i just want to show you the one minute chart because see i don't i don't i don't know if you guys are are looking at this you see this trend line right here? It's only a matter of time before it gets above this. So this right here, this resistance, it's already broken it a couple times. Look, it broke it there. It actually, look at this. Look at this. It actually bounced. It ba Look, it bounced off of these, off of this floor, okay, off of this support, okay, hit the trend line. Okay, and see earlier I had actually bounced it. Same thing here. Look at this. Boom. It just actually literally exploded up above that. Okay, so now we're going to hit this one right here. So right now it's probably going to come back down. It's probably now going to start trading in this channel right here above. It might drop down, but point is you see these points these points of of influx coming in and when it comes to good projects like it's good to kind of look at i mean I, I just right now i didn't obviously i didn't know this buy was gonna come in but let's go back to the to the to the here in fact you know what let's go to the to the 30 minute chart just so you guys could kind of see it see the big picture of what's happening here okay I want you guys to see what's happening here. So just go ahead and position yourselves. Um, this is not a pump and dump. This is one of the most important Shibarium Shiba Inu related projects. Okay. Period. I don't know how much more clear I can make it for you. And, you know, not financial advice. In fact, like the saying goes, I'm not telling you what to do. 
I'm just telling you what I do if I was you. And that's facts. You know, I like to keep it 100. Like I say, I like to keep it A to the A when it comes to cer certain things, which is, you know, everything, because it's about truth. If we're not truthful, why are we here? That's why even, even when it comes to my titles, I don't put, oh, Shabarium tomorrow, uh, bone to 100 next week, sh uh, Shiba Inu, one cent in one month. Why? In fact, that is a form of FUD, in my opinion. There has to be a name for that, okay? Because that is just as honest. And what it does is it brings people's hopes up, which is fine for a moment. But when their expectations are brought up so high, they're let down. Because guess what? Tomorrow, Shibarium didn't drop. So now they're FUDders. You know, guess what? In one week, Bone wasn't a hunt to 100. So guess what? Now they're FUDders. You know, because they're disappointed. So what we say carries a lot of weight for people, you know, and that goes out to a bunch of uh, content creators that love to clickbait, you know. And, and I mean, I myself have stopped following some some people because I'm like, I, I don't like it. But with that said, Crypto Marxist, a.k.a. Bone Army, go ahead. If you like the content, if you like someone that keeps it 100, keeps it a bean, keeps it A to the A, you know, coming at you all the time with that Shibarium, Shiba Inu, Leash, Bone, Paw Zone, and breaking it down. What's the drama? What, what What's the conflict? Yeah, well, guess what? I'm not, oh, let's all kumbaya. No, you know what? Paw Swamp is attacking the Shibarium ecosystem, and someone has to say it. And if I'm the one that has to say it, well, guess what? I'm the bad guy. <laughs> so with that said, go ahead and uh, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Uh, leave a comment. Uh, go ahead and comment any uh, projects that I don't just cover projects that I'm invested in, too. That's another thing, too. Maybe I need to say that at the beginning. You know, it's just it's important for you guys to get the information. So that being said, you know, Crypto Marxist, a.k.a. Born, Bone Army, out.